So welcome back. So now we have the great style of our application, but we also need the functionality. So if we go into the ng bootstrap that we are going to use, and if we go to components, all of these guys, they're not usable right now out of the box. We need to get some more code to use those. And that's of course because we need the getting started guy. We need to follow that for ng bootstrap, right? Before we do it, I want to do one thing. Jumping back to components here and going into uh, the time picker right here because I want to kind of just add the time picker so that I can see when things are running. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to copy from the time picker example this guy right here. I'm going to copy that into our code. Um, so I'm going into the customer detail HTML file. I'm just pasting this right in here and notice it fails of course because it doesn't know what this tag is. ng time picker that doesn't exist. Provide something else for me. That's one thing. Another thing is it doesn't know this time property because we need to put that inside our TS file, right? So I'm going to just copy this time property from here and I'm going to put it inside our customer detail TS file right below the customer. There we go. So now at least that knows what that is, but it still doesn't know what an ng time picker is because that's something that's very specific for the ng bootstrap. So let's get started using that right here, getting started, scrolling down, and here's actually where I get the information that you do not need to get the Bootstrap JS or the Bootstrap Min JS, and you do not need to get proper or jQuery JS, which you would normally require for Bootstrap, because the NG Bootstrap takes care of that for you. So even though we get warnings about that, and we will we will get another warning right here. So we'll just to install this, we'll just run npm install, a save again, and then NG Bootstrap. Right? Let's try and copy this line put it into our code, opening a terminal here again, pasting this in, firing away, and it'll install this for me. Now while that installs, we can just go back here and we need to add this module just like we did earlier with the other things that we used, like the forms modules and stuff like that. So jumping into the app module, pasting this in right here, there we go. And also we need to of course explain that we wanna import and use this module just like we did earlier as well, for instance with our routing. Here's the route module. We need to do the same now for our MGB or bootstrap module right here. There we go. Now again, notice you got these unmet dependencies. That's okay. We don't need them because again, the NG bootstrap will take care of actually figuring out how to do the things that jQuery did for us earlier. There we go. So now we should be up and running. Let's try and have a look at our actual application and see if it runs. There we go. We have a time picker now. Notice that. Wow. And if I start putting stuff in here like 12, It'll put 12 down here if I put in 32, uh, 22, sorry, it'll put 22 down here. So it works. Try and jump back and forth here. The time picker works. Yay, we have a time picker in our system. Sweet, that was the installation. Now, sometimes this doesn't work as smoothly as it just did. If you don't see this actually happening, just try and do a restart. And normally it would actually get up and running. If that doesn't work, try and throw it in the comments and I'll try to help you guys out. Sweet, that's it. Now we actually are up and running with Bootstrap in our framework and we start using it when we need to now start creating a create function, an update function and a delete function in our application. See you next time.